Gary says you're my money man after the second period. <laughs> What's that? Gary says you're my money man after the yeah. second period. Yeah. I also do not need to be on camera, it's fine. I dress pretty doesn't mean I want to be pretty throughout the world. So. Uh, Welcome to the Ice for Kids Arena in Fort Francis, where tonight the hometown Fort Francis Lakers will take on the visiting Dryden GM Ice Dogs here on SIJHLHockey.tv. Good evening, everyone. I'm Joey Payer, your play-by-play -play host for the evening. Filling in tonight. Thanks for tuning in. We got a battle of one and three teams here at the IFK tonight. The Ice Dogs coming off their first win of the year last Saturday, 3-1 against the Red Lake Miners in Red Lake. The Lakers, they've lost three in a row after winning their opening game by forfeit over Thunder Bay. Lakers having lost 4-3 and 4-0 decisions on the road to Red Lake. And then another road loss this past Tuesday, 8-4 to the Wisconsin Lumberjacks. My starting lineups being announced right now. You're starting goaltenders tonight for the Ice Dogs. It will be number 37, Eric Clark. And for the Fort Francis Lakers, it will be number 31, Ryan Tanner. Teams both coming in one and three on the season. Currently sitting in a tie for fifth in the SIJHL standings. Cam River Walleye currently leading the way at 4-0. Wisconsin second at 4-2. In third place, the expansion Sioux Lookout Bombers, sitting with a perfect 2-0 mark to this point. Red Lake holding down four spot, the defending SIJHL champions at 2-3. Then Dryden and the Lakers and the Thunder Bay North Stars still looking for their first victory of the season. They are sitting with an 0-2-1 mark. Just about ready to have the national anthems. And we'll get things underway here. The Ice Dogs' first road game of the year, all four of their first games all at home in Dryden. Now, the national anthem.
Great job by Alexis Ladder on the national anthems. And we are just about ready to get underway here at the IFK. A meeting, the first meeting of the season between two teams that clashed in the SIJHL playoffs last year. The Fort Francis Lakers and the Ice Dogs meeting in the first round. Ice Dogs sweeping that best of five series 3-0, winning by scores of 5-0, 4-1, and 9-0. So outscoring the Lakers 18-1 overall. Tough season for the Lakers last year. Finishing in last place in the regular season with a 5-35-1 record for 11 points. Dryden finishing third in the regular season, 26-15-3-1 for 56 points. However, they fell to the Red Lake Niners in the SIJHL semifinals. Head coaches and GMs for both teams. Kurt Walston in his ninth season behind the bench for the Ice Dogs. And the newcomer, Paul McLean, in his fifth game with the Lakers after coming up from the Federal Prospects Hockey League, where as an assistant coach, he helped the Waterton Wolves to the league championship last season. Lakers in control, coming out of their own zone. Coughed up in the neutral zone. Knocked down at center by Brandon Rossetti. He feeds it back into his own zone. Ice Dogs pick it off, backhanded in by Elijah Poole, number six for the Ice Dogs. Rossetti back now, trying to move the puck out. Loose puck to the corner, chasing after it for the Lakers. Brandon Kelly, number 12. Set back in by the Ice Dogs deep. Hit along the boards there, Tyler Earl, putting the body against Dominique Sear of the Lakers. Now, four. Up to center, dump it into the zone. And chasing back after it is Jackson Jack, the assistant captain for the Ice Dogs. Number eight. Moving it to center now, cleared in by James Hooten. Around the boards, he picked up there. Earl lays another good hit, this time on Riker Watt. Four-man battle in the corner for the puck. Hustling after it, Landon Stromy for the Ice Dogs. Two Lakers meet him in the corner. Try and send it out. Can't get it out. Backhanded in by Easton DeBray. But now down the right wing. Here comes Watt. Watt tries to cut to the middle. But nice defensive play by Jacques. He dumps it out to center. Watt and Jacques come together along the boards at the blue line. And now racing out to center. It's Bryce Benfield, number 18. Benfield stripped to the puck. Ice Dogs reclaim it, but... Benfield had not cleared the zone as it was taken across the line by Corson Penman. So faceoff will come outside the Laker blue line. 150 gone here in the opening frame. No score. It'll be Penman taking the draw. Going up against Jack Wood, the Rainier River, Ontario native. Sorry, make that Snooks. That was number 19, Ian Snooks taking the face off on that one. Here's Rossetti in the Dryden zone. Looking to pass out front. The shot now, stopped there by Clark, short side. Retrieved in the corner by Penman. He'll go behind the net. Finds Max Rath. Puck dumped out the center. Cleared right back in by Dominique Sear. Ice Dogs look to start out from their own zone. Benfield makes a spin move. He goes back behind his net to number seven, Josh Green. Green, father there by Cotter O'Brien on the four check. Puck down into the Laker zone. Battle along the boards. He sent out to center. Pass pool into the zone. Are we going to get an icing call out of this? We will. So face off will come back into the Fort Francis zone with 250 gone here in the first period. No score between the Ice Dogs and the Lakers. Face off now. Brandon Melsness for the Ice Dogs. He loses the goal. Lakers gain control. Back at it behind the net, Rossetti sends it up to O'Brien. He tries to go off the boards, can't get it past Poole. Nice job of pitching him. Lakers will try and take it now. Move it along the right wing side. Sends it ahead to Dyson German. 
Clark will stop it there. And Christian Umperville, number 44 for the Ice Dogs, sends it out. Lakers now, big hit along the boards as Poole sending Dylan Wedward to the Lakers, flying into the left wing side boards. Drive now, they're gonna move it out. That pass deflected by Brady Wicklin. But here's Poole, he'll dump it deep into the zone, chasing after it. For the Lakers is number 14. Brandon Hill, he sends it into the netting. Face off to stay inside the fourth zone. And here's Brady Frattinger taking the draw for the Ice Dogs, the leading returning scorer for the Ice Dogs from a year ago. Frattinger with 43 points in 45 games last season. Here's Meyer now across the line. Pass across, shot, scores! And there he is, Brady Frattinger. Busting to the net, chucking loose of his check. Takes the nice pass across from Ryland Meyer. And the Ice Dogs jumping to the early lead, 4.06 into the opening frame as Brady Frattinger picking up his second goal of the season. That play developing quickly, but Meyer spotting Frattinger on the fly towards the net. Perfect touch pass, Frattinger makes no mistake, putting it past Lakers goalie Ryan Tanner. And it's the Ice Dogs on the board first here in their first road game of the year. Puck dumped into the zone. So it's Frattinger for Meyer and F Jordan Foe at 4.06. Dryden taking the early advantage. Puck sit back down, right onto Tanner by Max Raff. Lakers now looking to respond to the early deficit. But a shot from the point. Stop there by Tanner. Puck scramble in front, loose puck. Ice Dogs almost doubling the lead there, but coming down the left side. For the Lakers, a two on one possibly, no. We're gonna get a penalty though against the Ice Dogs. It was Jack Wood with the puck. And it looks like we're gonna get a roughing call. Coming up against Max Raff, assistant captain for the Ice Dogs. He knocked Wood off the puck, but a little too aggressively for the referee's preference. So it'll be Raff getting the gate for the first penalty of this game at the 5.07 mark. And the Lakers will go on the power play Looking to try and answer the goal by Frattinger. Frattinger now on the penalty kill, sends it deep into the zone, in behind the Lakers net. Lakers will pick up the puck, try and move it out. Good forecheck, though, being applied by Meyer. Correction, two minutes for elbowing. It's an elbowing call, actually, against Raff. Puck deep in the zone. Pool will send it around the boards. Frattinger tips it out and down the ice. Lakers power play so far this season. Third in the league, 23.1%. They're three for 13 so far. The Dryden penalty kill, second worst in the league. Sixth place at 79.2%. They've allowed five goals on 24 power play opportunities. Lakers send it in, Clark stops it behind the net, tries to backhand it, picked off there. And now it's sent into the netting on the far side by Easton Debray. And a whistle and a faceoff will stay in the Dryden zone. We've got 58 seconds left in the Fort Francis power play. 6.09 gone here in the opening period. Dryden holding a 1-0 lead. Snooks now, 
on the draw against Hooten. Lakers get control. Rossetti goes far side. Long shot. That's tip wide. Taken by Reed Zirkin. Shot on goal. Loose puck. Trying to dump it in front. Oh, that backhander goes through the crease. Ethan LG with a glorious opportunity. Cannot capitalize, though. And the Ice Dogs send it down the ice. Dryden denies the breakout. Well, Francis will try it again. It's Rossetti. He's watched there by Tyler Earl. Out the center now. And here comes even LG. LG. Drop pass for Watt. Watt. Top of the circle. Fires the shot. Locker saved by Clark. Puck on the left wing boards now. Battle for the loose puck. LG dumps it in behind the net. Jacques chasing after it. He tracks it down, goes off the board, sends it out to the neutral zone. Penalty is over. Lakers 0 for 1 on the power play. And it looks yeah, a penalty here, possibly too many men. Referee explaining things to the Lakers. No, in fact, it will be an icing call. Just, just an icing call. So Fort over went on the power play. 7-19 gone here in the first period. Ice dogs in the one nothing advantage. Face off dot now in the Lakers zone. It's course and pendant. And he'll battle Jack Wood. Seems. Sorry, Ian Snooks, number 19. Long shot. Taken there by Josh Green. That hit a skate deflected to the left side boards. Benfield now. He'll bust it across the line. Chase after it behind the net. Picked up now. Benfield going up against Wicklin. Cleared around the boards. They're just trying to move the puck out. Can't, though. Comes back to the point. Long shot deflected. Loose in front. Shot taken by Ty Moore. It was Benfield in front. Trying to get a stick on it. Got a piece of it. But Tanner with the save. Ice Dogs trying to center. Now they go back to the point. Green fires. That's blocked by Sear. Off the right side boards. Moore with the shot. Tanner corrals it. No rebound, he'll hold on. And he'll have a face off in Fort Francis zone with 8.07 gone here in the first. Full line change by both teams. Nice dogs win the draw, go back to the point. Long shot there, just wide of the net by Reese Maximo, number 90. Buck center now, but tipped away. Hustling after it for the Lakers. Nolan Rideout can't quite get there. And it'll be Umperville moving around the boards. Ice Dogs put it to center. And Umperville dumps it in. He's got Brandon Melstis in on the four check with him. Umperville tries to center it. Nobody home at the point. Goes all the way back to Easton Debray. Debray. Tipped by Umperville. He'll go off for a change. Lakers now. Fire it to the open wing. It'll be picked up there by Brandon Hill. Hill. He almost loses it. Now we're going to get a delayed penalty to the Ice Dogs. Hill dumps it. And the Ice Dogs gain possession. That'll stop the play. And it'll be the Ice Dogs taking their second penalty of the night. Looks like Ryland Sevenuck heading to the box for roughing. At the 9.03 mark, so seven, two minutes for roughing. Lakers 0 for 1 on the power play here so far in the opening frame. Wicklin out there, along with Clark Scadden, number 16, and Connor O'Brien on the power play. Scadden. He loses possession. Ice Dogs get it out to center. It's Rossetti and 
Dominique Sear on the points. Wicklin now, drop pass, Skadden. He tries to send it across. That's deflected just out across the line and it'll be an offside as Sear did not let his mates clear the driving zone. So face off of the outside the drive moon line. Minute 32 to go in the penalty to seven up. 9.31 down here in the first period. Snooks now out with LG. And Riker Watt up front for the Lakers. On the points, it is Brandon Boris, number 44, along with Reed Zirkin. Penalty killing for the Ice Dogs. Landon Strome, he's got the puck down on the right side boards. Looking to center it, shot instead, saved by Tanner. Sneaking in for a rebound was James Hooten. Didn't get a stick on it. Ice Dogs get it, though. Here's Hooten now. He'll grab the puck away from Boris behind the net. Shot there by Raft. That goes wide of the Laker cage. Ice Dogs, though, with a good penalty kill on the go. Just 55 seconds left here in the minor 2 7 up. Lakers down, trying to get things rolling. All kinds of problems. Hit laid there by Benfield. Boris now. Moves it ahead to Wicklin. Wicklin tips it out. And hustling across the line is LG. LG now. Works the puck in behind the net. He's bothered there by Jacques. Watt will pick it up. Go left side boards. Now Sear, top of the slot. That's blocked. Nice play by Jordan Foe. Lakers maintain possession. Wicklin in the right circle. Tried to center it. LG in front. Gain, regains his feet. And the Lakers get it, go along the boards, and Foe, big hit there, laid on him by Rossetti. 10 seconds left in the penalty. Rossetti now, spins away from the check, sends it ahead, misses Scadden with the pass. And that's gonna be an icing call as the penalty to Seminuk expires. The Lakers now fall to 0 for 2 on the power play. And we have 8.56 waiting here in the first period. Nice dogs on a goal by Brady Frattinger at the 4.06 mark. Maintain a one nothing lead. Penman now. He'll take the draw against Whitman. Penman wins it. Back to the point. Wrath of shot. That hit the skate of Penman. Lakers to move it out. Puck put right on goal by Clark Scat. And it'll be held there by Eric Clark of the Ice Dogs. Clark, one of seven returnees from last year's team for head coach and GM Kirk Walston. Walston, the franchise leader in wins with 270 now after the win last Saturday against Red Lake. Also the longest tenured coach in Detroit Ice Dog history. Again, entering his ninth season. Two-time SIJHL Coach of the Year. He was also a two-time CJHL Coach of the Year nominee in 2016 and 2017. So I won, just a one-time SIJHL Coach of the Year winner in led the Ice Dogs, though, to two championships, back-to-back -back titles in 2017-2018. Here's a chance for the Lakers now, down the left side. Shot on goal, score! Hey, hey, what do you say? Brandon Rossetti! Top shelf wrist shot special, coming up the left wing. Dialed up long distance, Eric Clark. Probably wishing he had that one back. And with 8.05 remaining in the opening period, the Lakers respond on a goal by Brandon Rossetti, team leading third of the season and fifth point. So it is Brandon Rossetti from Jack Wood at 11.55. And the hometown Lakers tying things up here for the hometown crowd. 
Dull Ice Dogs try and respond. Umperville quick pass across. He had Ryan Semenek on the doorstep. Couldn't quite get the queen look at it. Nelson's down. Fire scores! And just like that, the Ice Dogs respond. A mere 33 seconds later, it's Rylan Semenuk, drills one from the left circle, beats Ryan Tanner over the shoulder, under the bar, and the Ice Dogs allow things to stay even for a short-lived period of time. They take the lead right back here with 7.22 remaining in the first period. On the goal by Rylan Semenuk. Semenuk with his second of the season. And it is the Ice Dogs. Back in front, two to one. My apologies, folks. It's Melsness with the goal. My apologies, got ahead of myself. Semenuk with the assist. So it's Brandon Melsness. Firing at home with 7.32 to go here in the first period. And here's the Ice Dogs with a 2-1 lead. Good news, folks. That won't be my last mistake of the night, most likely. Time now. Pressuring for more here in the Lakers zone. Lakers trying to move it out. Rath fires it, though, deep into the zone. Frattinger chases down on the right wing boards. Can't control it. Lakers will try and move it out. Sent back in by Jordan Foe, and he goes off for a change. What Ice Dogs with a full line change. And the Lakers will take advantage. Take it to center. Cleared back in by Poole. He takes a bump from Wickland. Puck in behind the Lakers zone. 2 4 checkers in deep for Dryden. Dryden gains control on this. Side boards, it's Tyler Earl, he goes back to the point, shot! Tanner quite, can't quite squeeze it, the shot from Reese Maximo. Backs to Maximo again, there's another shot, that gets deflected wide. Lakers cannot get it off the glass and out. Oh, Wedmer though, drilling Landon Stromey with the hit. And the whistle stops the play. 57 to go here in the opening frame. So it's Dryden. Straight the goals by Brady Frattinger and Brandon Melstis. Sandwiched around goal by the Lakers. Brandon Rossetti has this at a 2-1 Dryden lead. Less than six to play here in the opening frame. Centering pass by Landon Stromey. Deflected to the corner. Puck in the neutral zone, picked up there by Stroman. Back to Maximo. Maximo to Poole. Wedworth in on the forecheck. Poole though, nice move to get away from him. Earl backhands it off the boards. Poole gets it now out to center. And coming across the line, it's Landon Stroman. Stroman's shot. Heads into the corner. Oh, huge hit. Laid. On the Lakers. A 12 beating a 12. James Hooten slamming Brandon Kelly of the Lakers into the boards, forcing Kelly into an icing call. Faceoff will come back into the Lakers zone. 5 4 in the first period. Lakers now hustling it out the center. Wedward, he sends it in. Lakers go for a change. It's Poole picking it up behind the net. He tries to send it around the boards. Intercepted there by Rossetti. He'll gain it now. Tried to center it. Clark, though, almost tips it away. And then Puck was stayed right out in front. Scadden with a chance. He sent it just wide. Rossetti at the point. He's off the boards. Scadden gets it. Far side. Hill shot. Saved by Eric Clark. And he'll hold on. Four with a face off, 438 to go in the opening frame. It's off to stay in the ice dog zone. Ice 
dogs again without their top three scorers from last year, including league scoring champion Maxime Collette. Led the league with 81 points in 43 games. Big factor in their success last year. There's a shot! Shot put on goal by Zirk, and now he'll try another one from the right point. That goes wide. Scadden in the corner. He's got Josh Green all over him. Hill backhands it towards the net. Picked off by Green. He moves it to center and it dumps it into the zone. Right out. Can't clear. Quick shot there by seven. That guy gets deflected wide. Puck comes back out in front. Poole now can't keep it in the Lakers zone. Scadden battling him for the possession. Dumps it in the zone. Scadden and Poole come together. They exchange pleasant food. And it'll be the Lakers now. Moving it into the the Ice Dog zone, back for it is Maximo. He's bothered there by O'Brien. Puck to center, Boris. Far side. That's blocked, Darnell Kemp, former Fort Francis Muskie. Out there for the Lakers, Puck's shot on goal. And it'll be held there by Ryan Tanner. Off in the fourth and 317 to go in the opening frame. For Francis Lankers, returning eight players from last year's team. Ice dogs now with the puck at the left point. Tried to shoot it in on goal. That was gloved down by Wood. Puck out to center. Here's Sear. He goes off the left side boards. Now gets it back. Moves down the right wing. Puck dumping it in the driving zone. Clark keep, holds it there for Easton DeBray. He moves it out. Coming up fast. It's Frattinger. Frattinger. Right wing circle. Shot. Tanner got a shoulder on that. Deflected over the net. Off the glass and out to Center ice. Frattinger will try it again. Busts in on the right wing. He drops the puck off. For Stromi, shot on goal. From Josh Green. And Ken will hold that one. 223 left here in the first. Tied to two. Francis one. Luton now into the circle against Whitney. Draw clean. Shot for the right point. That's stopped. Green getting the puck right on goal. Here's Raft now clearing it deep into the forward zone. And back to get it. Leaves Zirkin. He takes a bump there from Stromi. Nice dogs keep it in. Hustling after it. Stromi. He's bothered there by Hill. Lakers like trying to get it. Shut. Quick shot. Tanner had to be careful. Tyler Earl with a close in chance. Tanner turns it aside. Ice Dogs back to their own line to retrieve it. Flex high. And now hustling after his LG. He's got Watt going to the net. The pass! Tried the pass, but Clark doing a good job coming up to the top of the crease. Gloves that one down. And he holds it with 137 remaining. Here's the opening stand. Change. It looks like it will be Putin taking the draw. He'll up, go up against Snooks on the Lakers. Scramble draw. Lakers get possession. Wedward sends it just wide of the net, chases after it. He's knocked down there by Poole. And Maximo grabs it. Tries to elude the check of Kelly. Puck cleared into the Lakers zone. Boris leaves it there for Kemp. Kemp, his pass ahead, deflected. Lakers still hold on to it. Sends it to center, and now Stromi sends it in for going off for the change. We have one minute remaining here in the first period. Right, he's still holding that 2-1 lead. Pass back to the point, misses the target. Clark comes out. Long pass up ahead. 
Benfield will pick it up there. Skates past Sked. Sends it into the lake of zone. You know what? It will be icing. Late call. Late call coming from the line. Icing call begins tonight. With 41.9 seconds remaining on the clock. Lakers will get a late period draw. Try to tie things up before hitting the dresser. Scat will take the draw. It's Pedman. Pedman wins it. Ice Dogs have done a nice job in the face-off circle here, winning the majority of the draws so far. It's a nice hockey game. Puck set in, hustling after it there. It's Ty Moore. He's going up against Rossetti for the puck. Lakers will come away with it. On the right side boards, it's German. And a big hit laid there. Easton Debray, as he thumped it. Right out into the left side boards. Got a big hoot and a holler from the Dryden bench. Five seconds left. Oh, the big hit there now. Returning fire, Dominique Sear. As he laid out Benfield in the neutral zone. As the buzzer sounds to end the opening period. So the Ice Dogs on goals by Brady Frattinger and Brandon Nelsness. Sandwich around a goal by Brandon Rossetti. He'll take a 2-1 lead to the dressing room after 20 minutes. So your score after the first period, the Dryden GM Ice Dogs 2, the Fort Francis Lakers 1. Second period action coming up soon on SIJHLHockey.tv.
Check one, two, check one, two, check one, two, three. Lakers hockey, Lakers hockey. Check one, two, check one, two, Lakers hockey, Lakers hockey. Lakers hockey, check one, two. Lakers hockey. Lakers hockey, check one, two. Lakers hockey, check one, two. Very good. I get his pocket this then? Got it, you change mics, you change, so it should be better for the second period. Okay, so Yeah, yeah. Okay. He was getting the same message, so we, we should have new mics, it should be better for the second period. Okay, it's good. It's good, it's up. Check one, two, check one, two. Uh, good, I need food to drink quick. Way to go, Pear. Gonna go get those old spring training bugs out. Holy.
period of hockey action at the Ice for Kids Arena. Your score after 20 minutes, the Dryden GM Ice Dogs 2, the Fort Francis Lakers 1. Ice Dogs going left to right on your TV screens here in the second period. Trying to apply some early pressure. Pressure, Frattinger shot, or sorry, pass off after shot by Poole. Bad save by Ryan Tanner. Rebound was sitting there. Puck comes back to the point now to Poole. Ice Dogs will take it in their own zone. Move it out to neutral zone, tipped in. Lakers will pick it up there. It's Zirkin. His pass is off a skate, but bounces right to Rossetti. Rossetti's shot. That hits a stick, goes over top of the net. Looks like it may have caught the netting over top of the net. Puck's gonna come outside the line. The scoring summary in the first period, Brady Frattinger opening the scoring for Dryden with assists going to Ryland Meyer and Jordan Foe at the 4.06 mark. They got one nothing. The Lakers responding at 11.55. Brandon Rossetti on a setup from Jack Wood to tie things up. And then it was Brandon Melstis just 33 seconds later firing, firing a shot past Ryan Tanner. The setup from Ryland Seminuk at the 12.28 mark to make it 2-1. Two, two penalties in the period, both going to Dryden. Max Raff, two minutes for roughing at 5.07. And Ryan Simonek for roughing as well at 9.03. Ice Dogs with a chance, firing it just over top of the net. Lakers pick it up in the corner. Hill gets bumped though. Puck centered, nobody there. And here comes the LG, LG. He misses a hit from Hooten. He gets stopped at center by Jacques, dumped in by Kemp. Lakers will go for a change, and the Ice Dogs will take control in their own zone. Trying to move it out. Lakers will put it right back in. Sent off the left wing boards. Kept in again by the Lakers. Good early four check here in the second period by Fort Francis. And the puck is tied up, and we will have a whistle and a face off inside the Dryden in. 224 gone here in the second period. Shots on goal in that first period. Dryden sending 14 pucks on goal against Ryan Tanner in the Laker net. While the Lakers responding with nine shots against Eric Clark in the Dryden goal. Puck along the boards. Ice Dogs trying to move it out. Lakers will steal it as it was Snooks grabbing it momentarily. But Dryden now sending it out and hustling out for his more. He fires a high shot off the glass. Lakers now send it ahead. Here's a chance. Clark Skadden trying to bust it alone. But great back check. Elijah Poole, fantastic work to hustle back and cut off the breakaway opportunity for Clark Skadden. Two on one now, Benfield, pass across, scores! Oh baby, what a play, Ty Moore. The Ice Dogs will take more of that whenever they can get it, as he buries the feed. Great pass across by Benfield. And it's Ty Moore with the goal at the 254 mark. So right after the Lakers almost had a breakaway opportunity and give big props to Elijah Poole for the hustle play to get back and cut off Clark Scadden at the pass. And it turns into a two on one the other way and Ty Moore buries it to give the Ice Dogs a three one lead. So it's Ty Moore from 
Bryce Benfield and Corson Penman at 254. And the Dryden GM Ice Dogs now with a 3-1 lead in their first game on the road this season. Lakers now playing from behind. Looking to respond here in front of the hometown crowd at the Ice for Kids Arena. Puck in the corner, battle for it. It'll be tied up there. Nelson's down over top of it. Now a bit of a pushing match. Breaking out as Semenuk and Wickling get into it a little bit. Nothing comes of that though. And a faceoff will be in the fourth zone. Three fifty gone here in the second period. Ice Dogs win the draw, sent in behind the net. Meyer tries to track it down. Puck comes to the left board. Jacques keeps it in. Kelly on it now. He hooks down his man. No penalty. Ice Dogs keep control. There's a shot. Debray, that was blocked in front by Rossetti. Frattinger now. He loses it, but left point kept in by Jacques. Jacques, left side boards. Faux sends it in behind the Frattinger. Frattinger to Meyer, in the full shot, scores! Oh, tic-tac, give me a little toe. Beautiful finish by Jordan Foe, as it's Frattinger, Meyer, and Foe combining on a pretty passing play in tight at the Laker net. And at the 424 mark, just a minute 30 after, Moore gives the Ice Dogs a 3-1 lead. It's Jordan Foe burying the feed from Meyer. Frattinger starting to play behind the net. And the Ice Dogs now expand the lead to four to one. So officially it is Jordan Foe from Ryland Meyer and Brady Frattinger at the 424 mark to give Dryden a 4-1 lead. Frattinger now with two points on the night as well as Meyer and Foe. So a productive evening so far for the top line for the Ice Dogs. Six points in total. Shot on goal. Tanner will hold that one. For a faceoff, 4.45 gone here in the second period. And a big hill to climb now for Fort Francis. Another shot there, saved by Tanner. Lakers looking to avoid a four game losing streak while the Ice Dogs looking to begin their first winning streak of the season, looking to go back to back wins after losing their first three of the season. It'll be Hooten now against Snooks. Hooten wins it. There's a shot right on goal. Quick shot there. Elijah Poole wasted no time releasing that one. Tanner had to be careful because he had some traffic in front. But he holds on. And we'll have a rematch between Hooten and Snooks. Hooten wins it again. A strong night in the faceoff dot for the Ice Dogs. Lakers playing a little bit of chasing throughout this contest tonight. And they are chasing on the scoreboard as well, down three. As we are over five minutes into the second period. Here's Stromey in across. His shot on goal, turned aside by Tanner. Lakers trying to pick it up on the right side board. Rossetti grabs it, goes around to Zirkin. Zirkin to Rideout, Rideout. Can't get it past his checker, but we are going to have a penalty. And it looks like it's going to be Max Raff picking up the minor for cross-checking. It's going to be Raff's second penalty of the period. So tough call here for the Ice Dogs, almost 200 feet from their own net. But Raff going to the box here at the 531 mark. His second minor of the evening. 
He'll get the gate for the cross check. And the Lakers looking for a much needed shot in the arm. We'll have a chance here on the power play. 0 for 2 so far in the contest. Look at capitalize right now, down three. Sears shot. Fires it high, saved by Clark. And Frattinger absolutely belted Sear just as he got the puck away. Sear a little slow getting up on that one. He'll head to the bench for a change. Frattinger not only handing out the pain on the score sheet, also handing out the pain in the physical department as well. Here's Zirkin now, neutral ice. Sends it all the way back in the zone, zone to Rossetti. His pass finds nobody, goes all the way down the ice. Jacques will pick it up, no icing on the play. He sends it ahead to Frattinger. That missed him, but all the way down into the Lakers zone. Here comes Fort Francis. Zirkin now. Tries to get in across the line. Picked off there by the Ice Dogs. Backhanded ahead by Hooten. And he'll get it out. Lakers will try again. Zirkin over to Rossetti. To LG. Ethan LG, number 21. One of the returnees from last year's team for the Lakers. Right side circle. The shots go! And it's going to be Riker Watt getting the tip in front. I believe it was Rossetti with the original shot coming off the right side circle. And Watt, either a rebound or a tip in front of Eric Clark. And at the 634 mark, the Lakers right back into it. They have cut the deficit to two. It is now four to two. It will be Watt getting the goal. We'll wait on the assists. And a power play marker is now the Lakers one for three. They have trimmed the lead now to four two for Dragon. Innocent looking play. Didn't look like Rossetti had much to shoot at. So the goal being given to Snooks, number 19, Ian Snooks, with assists going to Riker Watt and Brandon Rossetti. So Snooks must have got a stick in there somehow in the scramble in front, deflected it or stuffed at home, but either way, it's Ian Snooks getting the goal, the power play marker. And it's now 4-2 for the Ice Dogs. Scramble in front, loose puck. Tanner had to be careful on that one. He had a, more crashing the net. Puck center, more trying to get a stick on it. He can't. O'Brien will flip it off a stick and out to center. Here's Elijah Poole now. He takes a bump there from O'Brien. Hill. Backhands it up the boards. O'Brien can't get it quite out. And Poole sends it right back in. Kemp moves it ahead. Now, coming out for the Lakers. It's O'Brien. Sends it in high. Gloved by Clark. And he'll hold on for a whistle as Jack Wood prowling in the area. Forcing him to hold on. With 7.27 gone here in the second period. So far here in the second, Ty Moore, Jordan Foe connecting for the Ice Dogs a minute 30 apart early in the frame. But coming back for the Lakers, it's Ian Snooks. Ice Dogs for Lakers two. Here at a Friday night barn burner at the Ice for Kids Arena in Fort Francis. Playoff foes from a year ago, putting on a good show here tonight. Scadden now, can't get it quite out across the line. Sit back in by Rath, who was in the box for that Laker goal. There's a quick shot from the slot by Josh Green. And a stick save there by Tanner. Green now, 
He shakes a check, puts it in behind the net. Chasing after it is Melsness, who had a goal in the first period. Scadinell picks up the puck for the Lakers. Dumps it into the grinding zone. Back after it for the Ice Dog, Josh Green. Can't clear it, Rossetti. He had a puck taken away from him. Ice Dogs move it out to center. And it'll be Wicklin. He backhands it to the dry in the line. They move it ahead now. Sent in by number 44, Christian Oprahville. Lakers pick it up. Wedward now. Dylan Wedward stops, regathers, sends it back into the zone to Rossetti. He moves it across the Zirkin. Moves it into the neutral zone. Ice Dogs now. They'll send it ahead. Zirkin will try again from in behind the Laker net. Fires it. Frattinger though a shot. Dangerous and Brett scores! What do you know? Jordan Foe, second goal of the period as Frattinger picked off the clearing attempt. Set it on goal. Tanner cannot hold on to the original shot. And Jordan Foe pouncing on the rebound and goes five hole on Tanner. And the Ice Dogs reclaim the three goal advantage. It is now Dryden five, Fort Francis two. And Frattinger coming in for more. So assists going to, officially to Ryland Mayer and Jackson Jocks. But it looked very clearly like Frattinger was the one, 91, that got the shot on goal. They get a scoring change on that one later, but as it stands right now, it's Foe, his second of the game, third point of the night from Meyer and Jock. At the 9.08 mark. And it is 5-2 Dryden. Ice Dogs go back into the penalty box here at the 9.36 mark. And the Lakers will go back on the power play where they're one for three for the evening. Lakers center shot, saved by Clark. Off the stick of O'Brien. The Ice Dogs will get it out to center. Correction to the Dryden goal is assist number nine, Brandon Melnis. Providing penalty to number eight, Jackson Jacks. Two minutes roughly. Time for penalty, 936. So Jackson Jacks, two minutes for elbowing at 936. Lakers on the power play. There's a shot. Loose in front. Lakers trying to find the rebound. Back to the point, Rossetti. Left side, he misses here with the pass. And the Ice Dogs will get it and clear it all the way down. So, assist now being given on the second full goal to Brandon Melsness, number nine. Again, pretty sure it was Brady Frattinger, 91, who was out there. Clearing it on goal, we'll double check that later. Shot on goal there by the Lakers. Looking to cut into this three goal lead. Sear with the shot, he was stopped. Lakers now control it. Back to the left point, Sear across to Rossetti. Rossetti back to Sear. He goes to the slot, Snooks fanned on it. Only got a piece, put it into the corner. The Ice Dogs will get it and wire it down the ice. 20 seconds to go in the Dryden penalty to Jackson Jacks. Maximo back now. He puts it in the far corner to Frattinger. He'll send it all the way down. That'll just about do it for this Laker power play. Goes by the wayside. Fort Francis now one for four on the power play. Jacks out of the box, across for a change. We've got 8.15 to go in the second period. Dryden, close in chance there. Frattinger looking for his second of the night. Stopped there by Tanner. Lakers looking to regroup. 
As it's Dyson German in the corner. Sent across the board, along the boards. In behind the net, chasing after it now, Brock Benfield. Benfield, left point, taxable. Trying to wrist shot, that was blocked. Nice play there by German. Stromi now. Stromi back to Debray, that shot. In the slot, loose puck. Stromi had a chance, he got body down though. There's a shot on goal by Debray. And Tanner able to hold on. As Hill gives a not so friendly shove to Stromi in front. It's 7.28 to go here in the second. And it looks like the Lakers are gonna head to the box. And this is gonna be the first Dryden power play of the night. And it's Brandon Hill, number 14. Heading off, looks like it could be for roughing after the whistle. So Hill to the box, and that'll get the Dryden power play underway tonight again. First crack at the man advantage here this evening for the Ice Dogs. It's been a tough go on the power play so far this season. See if they can turn it around. There's a shot. Blocker save over top of the net. Ice Dogs just one for 19 on the power play so far in the season. 5.3%, that's dead last in the SIJHL. Lakers penalty though, kill also dead last in the league. Just 64.7%, they've given up six goals on 17 power play opportunities by the opposition. So something's gotta give here. A struggling at Dryden power play and an equally inept Lakers penalty kill. We'll see the Ice Dogs can build on to this 5-2 lead here with 7.04 to go in the second. Minute 37 left on the power play. Kept it at the right point by Hooten. Top of the circle, fires, pad saved by Tanner. Lakers get it and send it out as it's Sear with the clear. Sent back into the zone, Sear back chases it, goes off the glass and nicely puts it out and down the ice. 112 remaining in the power play. Here's Jacques. Back for the puck. Wicklund watching him deep in the zone. He goes to Meyer. That pass misses. Inside the Lakers zone. Meyer now to Penman. Penman back to Foe at the point. Goes far side. Jacques can't quite pick it up, but he backhands it in behind the net to Benfield. Benfield down. He's got. Penman in front, he goes ahead back to the point, but Jock can't hold on to that pass. And all the way down, 36 seconds left in the Laker penalty. Meyer dumps it into the zone. Cyril hustle after it. Set along the boards, Rossetti now. He'll move it there to ride out. Does a good job to pound it out. Just 20 seconds left now on the Ice Dogs power play. Puck set ahead, left side. Racing into the Lakers zone, it's Penman. Penman tries to get around his defender. Stopped there by Rossetti. Maximo now. Controlling the puck left side boards, Benfield. Trying to cut to the middle. Check that, make that Tyler Earl. He was taken off the puck. He's still battling for it in the right side corner. Hill though, out of the box. Trying to make his way out of the zone. He does, moves it ahead to ride out. Penalty over, Ice Dogs 0 for 1 on the power play so far. Semenuk tries to cut to the middle, big collision in the slot area between Brandon Hill and Semenuk. Both men going down. Ice Dogs continue the pressure. Center it, deflected to the corner, Umperville. Puts it to Melsis. Now back to the point. Shot by Debray. That's blocked. Debray picks up the rebound, sends it into the corner. Here's Green with a shot. That hits his own man in front. Melsis. Green get another opportunity. Another shot. That goes wide of the nets. Hustling in is Debray. He can't keep it in. Now maybe a two on one. Right out. Waiting for his man Wood to catch up to the play. Wood gets back. Fires. That goes wide. Rosetti can't catch up to the play. And coming up is Melsis. Melsis cuts to the middle. Stop 
He holds on to it there. Drop pass, Benfield fires. Pad save by Tanner. Benfield now in the corner. Duking it out with Sear. Now it's Penman coming in to help out to Jacques. Rash shot by Raff. That's blocked in front. Loose puck. Scramble for it. Who's got it? Rossetti. Trying not to cover it in the crease to avoid the penalty shot. And it looks like Tanner did manage to corral it. Rossetti looking up. Leading his case, making sure he's not in the blue paint. And it looks like the faceoff will stay in the Fort Francis zone. 3.45 to go in the second period. And the Ice Dogs continue to hold down a 5-2 lead. Three goals here in the second period for Dryden. Two by Jordan Foe, one by Ty Moore. Ian Snooks with the reply for the Lakers. Penman now. He's battling out with Snooks on the draw. Puck goes on net. Stopped there by Tanner. Benfield hustles well to keep it in. Moore now goes up against Boris. And it'll be Riker Watt coming away with it. He gets bothered on the right side boards there by Benfield. Comes away with Benfield sick and then conveniently kicks it away for a little bit of an adventure. Benfield not thrilled with that move. Fight for the puck in the corner. Ice dogs. Keep it at the left point. Raff shot. That's not loose puck. Tanner had trouble finding it at first, but managed to squeeze the pads together and hold on. 3.05 to go in the second period. These two teams will hook up again tomorrow night. A two game set here at the Ice for Kids. 7.30 p.m. again tomorrow night, Saturday night. You're in the Fort Francis area, please come on down, check out some great SIJHL action. Maximo now, right point. Moves it to Foe. Puck taken away by Frat from Frattinger by Wickland. He moves it out to the right wing. Poole knocks it ahead. Now Meyer chases after it. Back for it is Kemp. Kemp turns away from his man. Wickland now. He can't get to it. Meyer tries to center. Comes to in front of the net. Took a bit of a bad bounce, but. Tanner able to hold on with 2.33 left now in the middle stanza. Frattinger now against Jack Wood for the faceoff. Can get the sticks down, they do. Wood wins it. Nice play by the Laker rookie. Sent around to Jock. Frattinger now dumps it in behind the net, and Zirkin will pick it up for the Lakers. He goes off the boards, gets it to German. German in the neutral zone. Now here's O'Brien. He's coming up there with Wood. Wood bothering Jock, who wheels it around the boards to full. Kept in right point. Rossetti, nice move around Frattinger. Walks in, fires! Eric Clark, though, equal to the task. He got low, got a good eye on the puck, and gloves it to hold on. 2.03 left in the second period. Eric Clark, a Maple Ridge BC native, in his second season with the Ice Dogs. He had eight games played with them last year. And so far in the new SIJHL campaign. Sitting with a one and one mark, 251 goals against average, and a 917 save percentage. Tanner, meanwhile, 0 and 2 so far, 471 goals against average, and a 706 save percentage for the Lakers netminder. Miner. 
Landon Stromey. And Brady Frattinger leading the Ice Dogs in points so far this year, four apiece. Brandon Rossetti with his fifth point of the season here to lead the Lakers. Here's Brandon Hill now, a minute and a half to go in the second. Lakers having trouble getting much going. Ice Dogs forecheck has definitely picked up in intensity here in the second period as they look to preserve this three goal lead. LG now, he back ends it off the boards into the zone, hustling after it now. To put on goal. All right, Brandon Boris. Now we got a little pushing and shoving at the side of the net. Tyler Earl for the Ice Dogs. Do not believe he's uh, sharing Happy Thanksgiving with Riker Watt. He's looking to get away from the linesman, and now looks like it's going to be Watt heading to the bin. Are we going to get coincidentals? We are not. A roughing penalty and a looks like a 10-minute misconduct. Riker Watt losing his composure here. The Wayburn Saskatchewan data with a minute nine to go here in the second. So he's going to be lost to the Lakers for the rest of this period and a good chunk of the second as he gets the roughing call and a 10-minute misconduct as he was putting up quite a battle trying to shake free the linesman to give Tyler Earl another piece of his mind. So Ice Dogs back on the power play. They're 0 for 1 so far in the contest. Again, 1 for 20 now on the power play this season. Bit of a surprise with the offensive firepower that they can throw out there. It'll be Frattinger with Benfield. Up front, along with Landon Stromy. Benfield's got the puck in behind the net. One minute to go here in the second. He's bodied by Rossetti. And Rossetti does a nice job. He blasts the puck out off the boards. Big hit there as Rideout collided with Jacques. And it'll be moved out by Rossetti. Clark stops it behind the net. 35 seconds to go in the period. Hooten tries to get a stick on that one. Now Frattinger's got it. Frattinger in on the left wing. Stops. Looks for help. Scramble in front. Benfield trying to get position. He takes a cross check or two from Rossetti. Frattinger now. 15 seconds left. Cuts to the middle. Shot! Saved by Tanner. Sears got it. He moves it into the right corner and sends it down the ice, and that'll just about do it for the second period. As Jacques back for it. And the buzzer sounds in what was a very productive second period for the Dryden Ice Dogs. Three goals in the period, two for Jordan Foe, one for Ty Moore. Ian Snooks with a lone marker for the Lakers and the Ice Dogs take a commanding lead to the second intermission here on the road tonight in Fort Francis. Your score after 40 minutes of hockey action, the Dryden GM Ice Dogs five, the Fort Francis Lakers two. We'll be back with the third period in just a little bit here on SIJHLHockey.tv.
Shots up here? Welcome back to the third period of hockey action. Your score after two periods, the Giant GM Ice Dogs 5, the Fort Francis Lakers 2 here at the Ice for Kids Arena in Fort Francis. Your second period summary, Ice Dogs led 2-1 to one coming into the second. They've made it 3-1 to one at the 254 mark. Ty Moore getting the goal from Bryce Benfield and Corson Penman at the 254 mark to make it three to one. Then Jordan Foe scoring his first of two goals in the period. Just a minute and a half later, assists going to Rylan Meyer and Brady Frattinger to make it four one. Lakers responding, Ian Snooks getting a power play goal at 634. Assists going to Riker Watt and Brandon Rossetti. Lakers cutting it to four two. But Foe came back for his second of the period. Assists officially given to Rylan Meyer and Brandon Melsness. Although it looked like Brady Frattinger made the play to knock down the puck and send it on goal for getting the rebound home. But 5-2 Ice Dogs after two periods. Shots on goal in that second period. Dryden with 21, a two period total of 35. Lakers with nine, two period total of 18. Lakers kill off. The rest of the Riker Watt minor late in the second period just now. So Dryden 0 for 2 with the power play. 1 for 21 for the season. But Watt off for another seven minutes, or another 10 minutes rather, as he got a misconduct in the fracas that led to his roughing minor. As he was trying to pull away from the linesman who had him by the jersey. So Watt will be sitting out most of. Uh, the, was the first half of this third period. Ice Dogs now continue to maintain the pressure. Maximo keeps it in on the right boards, but the Lakers dump it out the center. Debray gets it. He'll fire it back in. 
Lakers now try to pick it up. Brandon Hill is off the boards to O'Brien. He gets it just past Maximo, although it looks like it may have slipped out across the line. Obviously, a puck was shot into the Laker pitch by the Lakers, so face off deep in the Fort Transit zone. 159 gone here in the third. Penman wins the draw. Benfield tries a backhander. That was blocked. Another chance to go just wide. The Ice Dogs forecheck has been top notch here tonight. All kinds of pressure on the Lakers defense. Breaking the puck out of the zone easily has not been the norm for the home team tonight. Edmund versus Snooks. Oh, sorry, Wood on the draw. Ice Dogs collect it. Here's Benfield now. Benfield back to the point. Green over to Raff. Raff shot. That's it. Hits the stick of Wedward. Goes into the right side corner. Puck now being covered up by two players. Zirkin and Benfield. Comes loose though. Ice Dogs continue to hold it. Zirkin though gets it ahead. And now here's Wedward. Maybe a two on one. Wedward moves it ahead. Oh, nice play. Great job by Carson Penman to get back and strip Zirkin of the puck. There's a shot by Wedward. Saved by Eric Clark, who's been solid in between the pipes for the Ice Dogs this evening. Long shot into a chop of the Fort Francis net. Shot by Ty Moore. Tanner gets a stick on that one. Sends it wide. Lakers now move it out. Ice Dogs put it right back in, and here's Zirkin with it. He gets it up to ride out, ride out, into the Dryden zone. Jakes, Jackson Jakes, number eight. Puck now, Christian Umperville. Umperville, back under in front, tipped on goal by Ryland Semenuk. Saved by Tanner. Seven, Semenuk now trying to create a presence in front of the net against Dominique Sear of the Lakers. In front, chance off the side of the net. Upperville just missed as he put one off the base of the cage. Maximo puts the puck into the zone. Deep Sear now. Melsness tied up in the corner, having some problems with Scadden. And now looks like we're going to have Skadden and Melstis both going off. They would not give up the battle, even though the puck was far down the other end of the ice. Or is it just Melstis getting the game? Let's see. Look, I thought the referee signaled both players. It seems to be only Melstis going to the box here. 4-10 gun here in the third. So Brandon Melsis heading to the sin bin for two minutes. Lakers about to go on their fifth power play of the evening. They are one for four so far in the contest. It'll be Wicklin along with Skadden and O'Brien up front. Rossetti and Hill on the point. The Ice Dogs counter with Frattinger, Meyer up front along with Jakes and Josh Green on the points on the penalty kill. So it's an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty to Brandon Melson to the Ice Dogs. Chance in front, oh, that went off the post. Good chance in tight for the Lakers. And now we've got a battle in the crease. As the two teams getting on each other's last nerve here as we move into the third period. Net pushed off its moorings. Let's see if we get any calls out of this one. I don't believe so. Officials subscribing to the boys will be boys philosophy. Uh, 
However, the faceoff will come outside of the Dryden zone. So 143 left in the power play for the Lakers. 427 gone here in the third period. Dryden five, Fort Francis two. The Stogs get the draw, send it down the ice, right on goal. Tanner had to be careful with that one. Whoa, shot from behind. O'Brien lays into his fellow number 17, Stromy. And Connor O'Brien's going to nullify the rest of this Laker power play as he's heading to the box. At the fourth 42 mark, getting the gate for the cross check. Not a great play there by Connor O'Brien as the Lakers looking for a little bit of power play surge to try and get back in this one. But it's O'Brien, the Baddock Nova Scotia native, that heads to the box for the cross check. So we'll play four on four for another minute and 20 seconds. And then the Ice Dogs will get a short power play. Two minutes cross checking. Time of the penalty, 442. So Fort Francis falls to one for five on the power play. And a four on four situation here. Moving the puck up the left wing. It's Landon Stromey. His shot. That's blocked by Sear. Picked up though in the corner. Maximo. Tried to move it in front, that hit a stick and deflects out the center. And back for it is Jackson Jakes. Jakes on the left wing to Frattinger. Frattinger backhands it high, a bouncing puck. Tanner does a nice job of tracking that one, covers it up, and holds on for the faceoff. We've got 37 seconds left in the penalty to Nelsis. And then Dryden will be going on the power play for 33 seconds. Jakes now into the slot. That shot blocked by Wedward. Wood gets it. He turns it over though. Frattinger, oh, broke his stick. He was wide open in the high slot, but his stick exploding. He has to go get a new piece of graphite. And a golden opportunity lost there for the Ice Dogs. Frattens are already with a goal in the hockey game. Lakers now pick it up. Centered. Boris trying to get a stick on him. Dole for it. Can't get it. Now a two on one. Here come the Ice Dogs. A pass across. Shot scores! Pretty as you please. Rylan Meyer, the pass across to Easton Debray. And Debray makes no mistake, puts it over the pads of Ryan Tanner. And with 6-11 gone in the third period, the Dryden Nice Dogs will expand the lead on a pretty passing play. Rylan Meyer has been part of a couple of those here tonight. And he gets another one right there to make it six to two. That was a four on four goal. So the Ice Dogs will be on the power play still for another 20 seconds. That came just as the Ice Dogs were uh, putting their man Nelson back on the ice. So the Ice Dogs six, the Lakers two. Lakers now centered. Wickland trying to get a backhander. Save by Clark. Clark's been the less busy of the two goaltenders, but he's been strong. Chance in front. Oh! Goals! Everything happening on that play as the Ice Dogs bury another one, and a Laker buried an Ice Dog behind the net. 
So it was a power play goal for the Ice Dogs, the sixth goal, Easton DeBray from Ryland Meyer and Bryce Benfield at the 6-11 mark to make it 6-2. Ice Dogs come right down the ice. Pick up another goal. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Just 51 seconds later. But the concern right now is for the Ice Dogs player down in behind the net. As he took a huge hit, it's Bryce Benfield, number 18, going down. He's being helped to the bench, looking a little bit woozy. Not sure if he hit his head along the boards, maybe possibly the neck, we shouldn't speculate. But they are helping him to the bench. Benfield, who assisted on the sixth Ice Dogs goal. And the Ice Dogs come right back down. We're going to have to wait for the scoring play on that seventh goal. But two goals in 51 seconds for the Ice Dogs. Third goal of this third period already. Correct that second goal of the third period. At the 7.02 mark. And it is now Dryden 7, Lakers 2. Dryden Bulls for number 17, Landing Strum. Assist number 15, Bryce Benfield. And number 8, Jackson Jacks. Time of the goal, 7.02. So it's Landon Stromy getting the goal. Bryce Benfield, his second assist in just 51 seconds. He sets up that one as well. But took a huge hit along the end boards for his trouble. And now we're going to have ourselves a scrap. Ryland Semenek and Dominique Sear, the 222s, chucking the knuckles. Haymakers, both sides. Semenek, Sear, Sear landed a couple of right hands. Semenek firing back. Semenek, oh, big shot on Sear. And the two players head to the ice. Ryland Semenek of the Ice Dogs, Dominique Sear of the Lakers. And quite the tilt between the opponents, the double 22s. Their night will come to an end as they head to the dressing room for the rest of the evening. Good tip battle there. Semenuk and Sear decided to settle things by dropping the leather. It will be five minute majors and a game misconduct for each player. So that seventh Dryden goal, Landon Stromey from Bryce Benfield and Jackson Jakes at the 7.02 mark to make it Dryden seven and Fort Francis two. Plenty of activity going on here in the third period. We've had two goals. We've had a couple of penalties, and now we've had ourselves a good old fashioned throwdown between Semenuk and Sear. Don't forget, these two teams are going to see each other again tomorrow night. Now, another battle almost breaking out. Humperville and Hill at the side of the net. Cheryl Snooks. Thank you, Cheryl, for supporting the Lakers. 7.36 gone here in the third. Ice Dogs now act to the point. Shot a goal by Jackson Jakes. Tanner will hold the puck. Looks like after every whistle, uh, both teams with a little something to say to each other. Things getting very testy between the two teams. Again, these two squads battled it out in the playoffs last season, driving sweeping the best of five series three games straight. Ryan, penalty to number 22. Ryan, Semenya, five minutes fighting in a game misconduct. Laker penalty to number 22. 
7.31. Now it looks like it's going to be another penalty coming up here. And it looks like it's going to be going to the Ice Dogs. Brandon Melsness for high sticking here at the 7.54 mark. So Melsness to the box. Two minutes for high sticking. Lakers will go back on the power play. This will be their sixth man advantage of the evening. They are one for five to this point. Ice Dogs one for two on their power play as the power play goal by, uh, or the goal by Debray at the 6-11 mark of this period was a power play marker. So the Lakers. Driving penalty to number nine, Brandon Melsness. Two minutes, high sticking. Looking to make this game a little more respectable. Ice Dogs with a shorthanded chance in close as Hooten's in there. Looking for more for the visitors. Lakers will come away. Here comes Jack Wood. Wood against Jakes. Wood. Bothered there by Jakes. Tries to maintain possession. Nice defensive play by Jackson Jakes, number eight of the Ice Dogs. Wood, though, comes away with it. He goes back into the corner. Now to the right point. Rossetti takes a bump from Hooten. LG gets it to Wood. Centers. O'Brien on from his knees. Here's a chance. Oh! What a stop! Brandon Boris from the left circle in tight. Had a beautiful chance at the side of the net. And Eric Clark with a 10 bell glove stop to keep the puck out. Save of the night there for Eric Clark. He keeps this a five goal lead for the Ice Dogs. Bit of a sudden play there as the puck bounced off of O'Brien in front. And all of a sudden here came Boris in from the left hand side point. And he had looked like a yawning side of the cage. But Clark flashing the leather and pulling off the robbery. Lakers now, 45 seconds left in this power play chance. Still can't get much going here. Frattinger doing the work on the penalty kill along with Meyer for the Ice Dogs. Boris, he moves it up the left thing, Boyd Boris. Wood gets it to LG. LG now to German. Tried to center it, nobody there. Frattinger will get it. Goes off the boards and takes a high bounce, almost hits the referee. And down into the Lakers zone. Just 10 seconds left on the power play. Dryden seven, Fort Francis two, as we near the halfway point of the third period. Brandon Hill, in across the line, over to German. German, looking for Skadden at the far side. That puck didn't get through. Chance now Skadden in front, he bounces one wide. Jake's with it. Gets it to Jordan Foe, two goals in the contest this evening. Penalty is over. Lakers fall to one for six on the power play. Here come the Lakers now, moving it out. It sucks into the corner, Skadden. Can't reach it, Nelson goes off the boards. Lakers keep it in, long shot, that goes wide. That was fired by Reed Zirkin. Redward now at the right point, keeps it in, in front, slot, chance, oh, pad save. Nice stop on Snooks by Eric Clark. Jiden now picks up the loose puck at center, Penman in across the line, fires! That's high and wide. Maximo with it, he busts it on the right side. Maximo trying to get around Kemp. Looking to center. Right side corner, now to the point. Rath fires a low shot. And Boris down. Not sure if the puck went under him or whether it reached Tanner. I believe Tanner did cover it up eventually. Boris looking no worse to wear. 
that altercation. 8.50 to go in the third period. And the visiting Ice Dogs in their first road contest of the season. Looks like they're going to start their road adventures for the 2022-23 season on a very high note. As they lead by five here at the Ice for Kids Arena here in Fort Francis. Here on SIJHLHockey.tv. Lakers put it off the netting. Wedward, a little too high with his flip attempt into the Dryden zone. So a face off the phone outside of the Dryden blue line with 8.35 remaining. And in fact, we'll move it down to near the Laker blue line, actually. So it was the Lakers that committed the violation. This dog's led tonight by Jordan Foe. Two goals and an assist. Brady Frattinger with two points as well. There are two points for the Ice Dogs. Ryland Myers also had a big night. He's got three assists in the contest. Two of them are beautiful passes offside here against Dryden with 8-10 remaining. Benfield with three assists as well. So. Serious playmaking by the combo of Meyer and Benfield. Benfield, however, shooken up earlier this period. Looks like he is done for the night. He had to be helped off the ice to his bench. After taking a big hit along the Lakers' end boards. Ice Dogs dump it into the fort zone. Rossetti back for it. He'll move it along the left side boards. Trying to get it to LG, but that's intercepted. Ice Dogs trying to power the puck to the net. Tyler Earl, he's stripped of the puck. And moving the puck ahead is what now to Laker Watt, the center. Watt fires it in. Josh Green back for it. And in fact, we are going to have ourselves a penalty. Here, Ferris call. Coming up. We'll see who gets the gate for this one. 7.40 to go in the third period. And it looks like it's going to be Tyler Earl of the Ice Dogs heading to the box. So Earl, two minutes for interference at 12.20. And Lakers right back on the power play. One for six so far in the contest. And they'll get another shot try and close the gap a little bit here in the third period. Ice Dogs came into the game tied for second most penalty minutes in the league with 86. Lakers was second fewest in the league with 58. Here's the Ice Dogs sending it down the ice. Tanner gets it. Rossetti will be back to pick it up. Rossetti now up the right side to Wicklund. He's intercepted. Nice play by James Hooten. Hooten walks in. Backhander. Scores! How about a Hooten? A holler for that one, folks. James Hooten commits the arm robbery on Brady Wicklund. Inside the Lakers zone, walks in and tucks the backhander for the shorthanded goal in between the pads of Ryan Tanner at the 12.49 mark. So it's James Hooten getting on the board and he pushes the lead down. To eight to two. Great play individually by James Hooten. His first point of the night, but it is an absolute highlight reel play as he picked the pocket of Brady Wicklin, walks in and puts the backhander home, a shorthanded marker for the Ice Dogs. They lead eight to two, and now a big hit 
along the boards. That dropped Ethan Elgie. No call coming. Elgie slow to get up. He centers it. Ice Dogs pick it up. Frattinger. I think it was Jackson Jakes who pounded LG into the boards as he had to go pick up his stick after. 32 seconds left in the power play. Ice Dogs get it and sit it down in the fourth zone. Ice Dogs will change their penalty killers. And now it's like, it's like we're going to get another penalty and just not at all an intelligent play by Ethan LG. Still smarting from the hit he took. And he went looking for a little bit of revenge. He found it. But that discovery is going to cost his team the last 24 seconds of their power play as LG takes a penalty 200 feet from his net. And you might be frustrated, but you can't be losing your cool even in an 8-2 game. So LG to the box. That'll be the Lakers fall to one for seven on the power play. Laker penalty to number 21, Ethan LG. Two minutes for slashing. Time penalty, 1357. So Ethan LG, two minutes for slashing, 1357. So we'll play, we were playing four on four hockey, but Tyler Earl now coming out of the box. So the Ice Dogs will have a power play for a minute and 36 seconds. 5.39 to go here in the third period. Dryden GM Ice Dogs, eight. Fort Francis Lakers, two. And the Ice Dogs look to be well on their way to their second win of the season, their second straight win after starting the season with three straight losses. Save there by Clark. Lakers. Looks like they are heading for their fourth consecutive loss. They'll drop to one and four on the season. Ice Dogs looking to up their record to three and two. Here's Zirkin with a shot. That goes wide. Lakers back in their own zone. It's Zirkin with the puck. Watch there by Umperville. He goes up against Zirkin. Along the end boards, here's a pass in front now. Ice Dogs, Brandon Melsis trying to find his man in front. That didn't connect. Clark gets a goal, sends it down the ice, and Melsis picks up at the Laker line. His drop pass does not find its target. Puck to center, and Melsis will try again. Ice Dogs with the power play for another 52 seconds. Puck sent into Tanner, and he'll cover it up with 4.54 remaining in the contest. And the dry the GM Ice Dogs looking every bit the part, the superior team they were in the playoff series against the Lakers last year, outscoring the Lakers 18 to one in that best of five series, sweeping it three straight. And they have picked up right where they left off. They lead this contest by six. 40 seconds to go now in the power play. Here's Ty Moore. He had a second period goal for the Ice Dogs tonight. Puck pitched in, kept in by Jakes. Jakes to the center, a long shot. Floater up to Tanner. He finds it with the glove and holds on. Another face off in the Fort Francis zone. 4.28 to go in the third. 25 seconds left in the dry power play. They are one for two on the night so far. Ice dogs control at the line. Left side, Maximo. Back to Jakes. High slot, fires, pad save by Tanner. Now pitch again is Jakes from the right point. Moore and Hill tied up along the boards. They're in a battle. Lakers get it, fire it all the way down. Penalty is over. LG coming out of the box, cruising for the puck. McClurk does a nice job to send it down the ice. And into the Lakers zone. 
Benfield, Bryce Benfield, good to see him back out there, number 18 for the Ice Dogs. He was drilled earlier in the period, had to be helped off, but looks like he's okay to get back into the action. And it looks like we'll have an icing call against the Lakers with 3.38 to go. So Ice Dogs power play drops to one for three for the night. One for 19 coming into the game. So percentage-wise, I mean, a much better evening. Here's a shot by Debray. That's blocked by Wickland. Moved up ahead to Wedward. And the Ice Dogs control. Center ice, Rossetti gets it. Moves it to the dry on the line. Ice Dogs take over. Tip all the way down the zone by Stromi. Rossetti will grab it there. He'll go off the boards. And then it's up to Wedward now. Wedward trying to pass across in front to Scadden. That pass doesn't connect. Max Rath now coming away with for the Ice Dogs. Puck up the center. Hutton's cut off, but here's Penman in all alone. Penman, quick shot, save, rebound, loose puck. Let's see what is happening here now. Tanner covered up the rebound. Corson Penman, a very short breakaway as he had to chase the puck down into the zone, only picked it up in the right circle. Didn't have much time to make a move, but did his best with the space provided. Tanner, though, making the save and then grabbing the rebound chance. So face off in the Lakers zone with 2.46 to go. Tanner, a native of Kincardine, Ontario. An 18-year-old prospect for the Lakers. Oh, my goodness, Riker Watt's going to get a penalty here. And that was not looked upon happily by the Ice Dogs. And now they are in to defend their teammate who took a wicked shot into the sideboards. And that's the second one of those dangerous hits the Lakers have dished out here in the third period. It was Connor O'Brien earlier. And now Riker Watt, just a senseless play dangerous play, putting the Ice Dog into the boards. Did not quite get the number of who it was. Watno hitting right to the box. And it was Watt who lost his cool at the end of the second period, getting a two minute roughing minor and a 10 minute misconduct. Now he's heading off. Looks like he'll get some company. Frattinger and Earl going off for the Ice Dog, I think it was Wicklin joining Watt in the box as well. So we'll have to sort these penalties out. But certainly the hit by Watt into the boards. Starting off the whole melee in the Fort Francis zone, 2.37 to go. Ice Dog player was, was able to get up and recover. Apologies for not getting the number as it, he was sent out of our uh, vision into those end boards and was down for a bit. And then the fracas broke out in the corner. Did not pick up who the hit was laid on, but like or what, delivering the blow. to see if a power play comes out of this for either team. The Ice Dogs low jumping to the defense of their teammate. It looks like an extra Laker is heading to the box. Nolan Rideout, I believe, to help serve the what could be an extra minor to the Lakers. So I believe the Ice Dogs will get a power play out of this. They are one for three on the night. Brandon Melstis taking the draw. Chance there, save. He went up against Wickland in that faceoff. Puck back to Maximo at the point. 
Maximo works his way around Wicklund. Spins back, his pass though, misses the target. Jackson Jenks couldn't get a stick on it. And he'll head back for it. Ice Dogs on the power play. We'll wait for the penalty announcements. Maximo, he'll work his way to center. Watch there by Brandon Kelly. Driving penalty to number 19, Tyler Earl, two minutes roughing. Driving penalty to number 91, two minutes roughing, Mark Hanson. Driving penalty to number 24, two minutes for boarding and two minutes roughing. Roughing will be served by number 20, Nolan Ryder. So the penalties for the Lakers. Riker Watt getting two minutes for boarding and two minutes for roughing. While Ian Snooks getting a two minute roughing call. For the Ice Dogs, it was Tyler Earl, two minutes for roughing, and Brady Fratton, two minutes for roughing. So Ice Dogs on the power play and score! Easton Debray. A laser of a wrist shot. He goes five hole on Ryan Tanner. And with 1.15 to play, the Ice Dogs connect for the second time on the power play tonight, making them two for four for the evening. They came into this game just one for 19 with the man advantage. So certainly the most productive power play night of the season so far. Here for Dryden, but it'll be DeBray getting the goal. With just 75 seconds left, that'll be DeBray's second of the contest, his second power play goal of the game, too. So he's had both man advantage goals for the Ice Dogs. Great shots both times. A wrister on this one, low and right through the pads of Ryan Tanner. And the Ice Dogs will go up nine to two as we close in on one minute remaining in the third period. Ice Dogs controlling the Lakers zone. Lakers now move it up ahead. A backhander bounced in on Clark and he'll hold on. So it's Easton DeBray from Jackson Jacks and Bryce Benfield at 18.45. Make it a four assist nice night for Bryce Benfield. And props for coming back after taking a hard hit early in this period that had him helped off the ice. But back in the action and he picks up his fourth helper of the contest. Jacks also an assist on the play. And with 25 seconds to go, the Ice Dogs with a commanding seven goal lead. Kemp lays a hit on Moore. Jakes now keeps it in. He sends it around the boards. Stromey picks it up in the left corner. Try to get it back to his Maximo at the point. He couldn't do it. One last chance, two seconds left. Right out trying to get a shot off. He will not. And that will do it. So the Dryden Ice Dogs getting stronger and stronger as the contest goes on. Two goals in the first, three goals in the second, and four here in the third to cap off their best offensive night of the season. They only had three goals as their top scoring game in their first four games. They get nine tonight here against the Lakers in a 9-2 victory. Let's run through the scoring summary really quickly for you here. Starting it off in the first period at the 4.06 mark, Brady Frattinger scoring for Dryden from Ryland Meyer and Jordan Foe to make it one nothing. Brandon Rossetti tying it for the Lakers at 11.55 from Jack Wood to make it 1-1. One, one. 
And then Brandon Nelson is getting the goal at 12.28 from Ryland Seminuck to make it 2-1 after 20 minutes. In the second, it was Ty Moore from Bryce Benfield and Corson Penman at 2.54 to make it 3-1. Jordan Foe getting the marker a minute and a half later at 4.24 from Ryland Meyer and Brady Frattinger to make it a 4-1 game. Lakers respond at 6.34 as Ian Snooks getting the goal from Riker Watt and Brandon Rossetti with his second point of the night to make it 4-2. And then it is Brandon Fogg getting a second of the period. Assists going to Ryland Meyer and Brandon Nelsness at 9.08 for a 5-2 advantage after two. In the third, it was Easton DeBray getting a goal from Ryland Meyer and Bryce Benfield at 6.11, a power play marker to make it 6-2. Landon Stromey then just 51 seconds later at the 7.02 mark from Bryce Benfield and Jackson Jakes for a 7-2 Dryden lead and the ice dogs kept pouring it on as it was James Hooten with a short ended marker 1249 unassisted making it 8-2 and the ice dogs capping off the scoring Easton Debray is second of the goal game second of the period at the 1845 mark uh, to make it a 9-2 game uh, a power play marker as well so Dryden two goals in the first three in the second four in the third they get their second straight win of the season. The Lakers dropping their fourth in a row. Ice Dogs improved to three and two on the season. Lakers falling to one and four. The two teams are gonna hook up again tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. here at the Ice for Kids Arena. Hope you can join us for that one. If not in person, then on SIJHLHockey.tv. Your final score from the Ice for Kids Arena in Fort Francis tonight. The Dryden GM Ice Dogs nine, the Fort Francis Lakers two. I'm Joey Payer. On behalf of my cameraman, Lyndon Hughes, thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Hope you can tune in again tomorrow night here on SIJHLHockey.tv.